Thomas set sail. It was a blustery, buffety day on the island of Sodo. Edward's coal cars creaked and cranked against the wind. Percy's mail cars shuttled and shivered. But Thomas hardly noticed the wind at all. He puffed into Brendam docks. The mayor of Sodor had ordered a brand new sailing boat. I am to take the sailing boat to the mayor's launch party at the harbor, tooted Thomas excitedly. The mayor, Sir Topham and Lady Hat will all see the boat go into the sea for the very first time. The boat had a tall mast and was painted bright red. It's wonderful, gasped Thomas. It's red. I should be taking it, huffed James. It's heavy. I should be taking it, wished Gordon. Cranky lowered the sailing boat onto Thomas's flatbed. It's not too heavy for me, tooted Thomas. You must wait for the engineer to lower the mast, snapped Cranky. The mast will be no trouble for me, Thomas whistled, and he raced off. Thomas puffed proudly along. The wind was strong, and the boat was heavy, but not too heavy for Thomas. Thomas came to a steep hill. He chuffed hard, pulling the heavy boat. I can do it. I can do it, he puffed. And soon he reached the top. Hooray, Thomas tooted. I did it. He felt very pleased, and he steamed on. Then Thomas met Emily. Look at my sailing boat, Emily, Thomas tooted. Don't you look grand, wished Emily. And Thomas knew he did. Thomas felt very grand as he steamed past Elizabeth. Be careful with that tall boat, she hooted. It's a very blustery day. But Thomas felt far too important to take any notice. Next, Thomas puffed towards a low bridge. Rosie was waiting at the signal. Watch out, Thomas! Whistled Rosie sharply. Thomas applied his brakes and stopped just in time. The mast is too tall to go under the bridge. Puffed Rosie. Then I shall take another track. Huffed Thomas. Thomas chuffed proudly on. Then there was trouble. He heard a loud crunch. Thomas looked up. Tall trees were hanging over the track. Oh no! cried Thomas. The tall mast must have caught in the trees. Thomas couldn't move forwards or backwards, so he huffed and he chuffed, and with a mighty puff, Thomas broke free. Hooray! Tooted Thomas, but Thomas didn't know the ropes holding the sails had untied. Thomas was feeling very grand now. The wind was strong; it was blowing him along. Whee! Thomas cried happily. He was going faster and faster. The wind grew stronger. Thomas raced round a bend. Be careful, Thomas! Molly tooted. The wind is filling the boat's sails. But Thomas whooshed by so quickly he didn't hear her. The mayor, Sir Topham, and Lady Hat were waiting at the harbor. They could see Thomas racing towards them. Slow down, Thomas! Boomed Sir Topham Hat. But Thomas couldn't slow down. The mayor, Sir Topham, and Lady Hat could not believe their eyes. Thomas whooshed past and raced away from them. Faster and faster around a bend in the track. Suddenly the wind dropped and Thomas stopped. Phew! 
If the wind picks up again, I'll never be able to stop at the harbor, he cried. The boat will not be launched, and the mayor will be very cross. Thomas knew that he had been wrong not to wait for the engineer at the docks. I must chuff back to the docks as quickly as I can, and I must bring the engineer to lower the masts, he tooted. Thomas was uncoupled from the flatbed, and he steamed off. Thomas's wheels whirred to a stop at the docks. Has the engineer arrived, Salty? puffed Thomas. Oh, yes, me hearty, smiled Salty. Thomas was very relieved. The engineer climbed quickly into Thomas's cab, and Thomas steamed off. Soon Thomas arrived at the sailing boat. The engineer rolled the sails and lowered the mast. Slowly, Thomas chuffed back to the harbor. The boat was heavy. Thomas had to puff hard. This time, the wind couldn't help him. The mayor, Sir Topham Hatt, and Lady Hat were still waiting. They were happy to see Thomas, and they were happy to see the mayor's sailing boat. Thomas, boomed Sir Topham Hatt, I see you have decided that full steam is better than full sail. Aye, aye, sir, tooted Thomas. And as he watched the boat slide into the water, Thomas was very proud to be really useful.